All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here. It's another day in life video. And what we're doing today, I'm in New York City. Uh, I keep saying New York City. White Plains, right? White Plains, that's where I'm at. So this is a uh, weekend of the New York Pro. And I have three competitors in the New York Pro. So what I wanted you to see was what's it like for a coach when they travel with their athletes, so they check in and things like that. So you're gonna see some people checking in. We'll do a couple check-ins. We get a couple meals, we get a bite to eat. Um, but anyways, I thought this would be interesting so you can see what it's like um, for my weekends when I travel with the athletes. So appreciate you watching, let's go. I know you guys wanted some updates on how Josh is doing, so we're doing like a day in the life video. So you're gonna see Josh um, go through a couple poses. We're gonna talk about where he's at. He looks absolutely phenomenal. And I got a couple more guys you guys wanna to get to see this weekend, but um, so Josh is going to hit a couple poses. We're looking at where he's at. It's in the evening right now. What is it, about six, six o'clock? Mm -hmm. So we're at about six o'clock. Josh has had, what, four meals, Josh? Four meals, my whole intra drink, about 140 ounces of water, 140, 150 ounces of water so far. Um, pre intro post-workout drinks, everything that I normally do on a day-to-day -day basis. So one of the things that Josh does is actually what I used to do and we like to get a little pump workout the day before the show to just drive some nutrients into the muscle. And Josh has already had his pump workout, a lot of fluid, so he's nice and full right now. He's also really dry for this part of the day. So in the morning, he's gonna look bonkers. He's gonna look out of his mind, but wanted to share with you guys what he looks like. Um, so maybe just hit a front, front uh, rear. Let's just do our nice front uh, relaxed. Check out the detail on his quads. You guys couldn't really see his legs in the last video, but they're filled out now. The rectus femoris is separated. Um, what we did was we pulled him off his cardio, what, about three weeks ago? Yeah. We pulled Josh actually off his cardio about three weeks ago. When there's no fat left to burn, cardio is kind of pointless. Look, and look how full his chest is up through here. It, look, it almost looks like he has a pump, but that's just from his fluid today and his food. So let's go ahead now. My favorite poses he does are actually his side relax poses. So show everybody like what your side relax pose looks looks like. Crazy. Look at this. Look at that lap hanging. And that is that skin is skin tight. His hamstrings filled out. They got nice. Look how knotted up his hamstrings are. Hamstrings are super knotted up, chest high. Really wide, nice taper. Come around one more, Josh. This side pose again looks really good. You see the glutes are strided. See how wide he looks across here too? And everything, this is tapered in. You see the angle? Everything looks really okay relaxed. So nice and full. Um, we're not really doing an extreme amount of food because he looks so good. Like he's nice and sharp right now. Go ahead and just like a quick most muscular. You can see the details on his chest, his delts, all the lines. All the lines are there. So in this case, I get a competitor like this. He's ready to go. So there isn't going to be any, well, let's have 500 grams of carbs tonight or let's do something crazy. Like Josh has done the work and he's ready to go. So there's no reason for us to do anything insane. Somebody else, it might be a different story. It might be, that let's go pound a lot of carbs or even, even take in some salt, depends if they're flat. But you get a competitor who's nice and full, he's dry. And keep in mind, that's after five liters of water, that's after four meals, he still looks really dry. So you know in the morning he's gonna be super crisp when he wakes up. Tomorrow, we're just gonna do his normal two meals and we're just not gonna have water. Just gonna cut the water off in the morning until pre-judging just to ensure he's dry. That's literally all he's gonna need. So we'll have some more video tomorrow on how he looks, but this is no tan, four meals, lots of fluid, even had a protein shake. Wanna be pretty crazy tomorrow. Pecs are strided, rectus femoris is strided. Nasty, nasty. So we have me and Migo, Arturo Cotto from Puerto Rico. And this is the first time we've met. We've been working together for a long time, so I'm real excited. 
He's going to be doing the 212 class tomorrow, and we've been doing a little pose in here, and we're working on his foot position. What a lot of people do, and if you guys have watched my other videos with Josh and Caroline, you've seen how I change people's feet, which I learned from Kenny Wallach, who's the master. But what we've been working on with Arturo is, is instead of standing straight, actually to stand a little this way with his toes at 11 o'clock, and then twisting and rotating. But when you turn your feet this way, and you drag the back foot up and push your adductors together, it forces your hamstring out so you get more of a sweep in your hamstring. So what I want you to do is go to the back. Now watch when he turns into his quarter turn pose. So we're going to do a quarter turn. You see he's got a lot of muscle right here, so he's got plenty of muscle to push together. So do a quarter turn. Now watch his feet. Watch where they are at. They're still a little straight. See, we got to get them more this way. And then you got to drag the foot up. You got to drag the foot up and push them. And then push this out. There you go. Now stand up. We're going to have to work on that tonight. We're going to have to work on that and practice that tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's hit a couple of your poses real quick. Let's do, for now, let's, I want to see your side chest. So let's do your side chest first. Okay, so now what we got to do is we got to do the same thing with your feet. So he's got to take the left foot right here and then drag up the right foot and set it. And then hit the pose, okay? There, that's it, right there. That's it, much better. Now, I like the old school way. So here's the other thing. When you grab your wrist, what happens is you, is you move your wrist up. More. You make yourself More. smaller. So put your hand out here More. More. and lift your chest like that, okay? And push your arm right into your side. Okay. So right into your side. There we go. Try it on the other side. Try it on this side too. I want to see it on the other side too. Okay. Okay, relax. A lot of people when they do their side chest poses, you'll see they'll grab here or they'll let their chest sit flat and they do this. You want to make yourself look wide and thick. So instead of going here, grab your hand, pull it in right against your body and lift your chest. That's the way Arnold used to do it. Arnold had the big barrel chest look. That's what I really like. People say, well, it doesn't quite show your condition. They know when you're in shape. They know condition. See, that's bigger. That's definitely bigger there. Okay, let's see um, a back double black set. We're sweating a little water out, huh? Is that what it is? A little bit. Just a little bit. Hello. Okay, I want to show you guys something else. Come over here. Now, do it again. I want you to watch where his arms are. So his elbows are in, are like right here. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, you can relax. Now, if you can get your arms back further, all the traps and rhomboids strike, all the lines mm -hmm. will strike. So watch how he's doing this. You don't want to go like that. You want to stay wide but move your arms back. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That, oh, that's way better. That's way better. Way better. See, that's... Stretch, stretch, stretch. Here, now back, back, back. Not all this up. Back. There we go. Oh, that's nice right there. Okay, you're letting your hands get a little too far out in front. Mm -hmm. Dig your hands in right here, like dig them in. Dig them in. There, there we go. That's better. Don't lean back so far. Okay. Just a little. Solo un poco, solo un poco. 
Um, tell him how much. Right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Thanks, okay. Yeah. It's been like a gallon and a half already Say today. Yeah, six liters today. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell he's sweating a lot. Yeah. Which is good. That's good. That's okay. Um, just a couple more things. So just stick your leg out and just flex it. I just want to just see what the detail looks like. Okay. Okay. Oh, I got a question. Yeah. I, I, the, oh, for the best size or tricep, mm -hmm. I got this side to, uh, clear and this side uh, tattoo. Let me see. Let's see. But this leg is more Crazy. better than this. And look at this size. This, this leg. Yeah, I don't have this leg. Yeah, I see this, what you're it, saying. It's better and big. I see what you're saying, yeah. But this size is better. The upper, I see. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? This size or this size? Which side did you do your side chest on? Listen. Okay. I absolutely hate it when people do this, but it may be something we want to do. So you know how people stand and they do that? Yeah. You may want to do that. I, I hate that, but that way we can show his upper body on this side though. See what I'm saying? So stand there like that, but don't stay there. Just put the leg out like that. Okay. So, so you're gonna be right here. So you're gonna sweep that hamstring, get you like that, and then like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there, there you go. go. Yeah, there you yeah go. that's how I want you to hit it. Because okay. now the leg looks good and this looks good. Yeah. One more. Let's hear it. Abs. Abs are sharp. Okay, now look what he's doing right here, okay? Mm -hmm. I want to show you how to show his serratus. Point your elbows up. Okay? There, now. Okay. Point those elbows up really high. Pop out your lats. Now let your air out. Okay, relax. If you can get your elbows up, you'll create more V-taper. If you're like this, you're only gonna have a little bit. But this will make the serratus come out right here and your upper lats will come out also. So take your elbows up and your hands, so instead of here with your hands, here. So not here, here. And I just saw a guy, you guys may remember him from Elite FTS. You guys remember him? Look, it's the one and only. <laughs> Andrew, good, what are you good doing? You. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah. What's happening? How you feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling good. All right. Just relaxing on uh, the sidewalk waiting for my Uber. I'm get Where are you heading? I'm just going to get some Get your tan? Yeah. Okay. You guys, to do? Go get something to eat. Go get some donuts. But that's a good, that's always yeah. good plan. That's good, yeah, man. Good too, yeah. You're over here in the hotel, right? Yeah. Swing by tonight if you want, man. Cool. I'll drop you a message. Yeah, yeah. send me a message. Thanks, all right. Yeah. Thank you. Nice to all see right. you. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. You feel good? Feel like you've improved? Yeah. Your condition looks really good. I saw your rear post. Okay. Uh, yeah. Not, not bad. It's a little, little more work to do, you know? Yeah. So, uh, but we'll chat later. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Nice to see you. Andrew Hudson. <laughs> Mr. South Africa. The legend. There's a place called Pancake House here close somewhere, but this is a sushi place. Hibachi and sushi. It's called Noda, right? Noda. Let's check this place out. Let's go. All right, so we got our sushi. I actually haven't had a meal today, and it's 7.47, actually. I um, Actually, you know what? I did have an egg sandwich for breakfast. And I've had some M&Ms, but that's it. So we're gonna get our sushi here. I like to get the salmon type sushi, and I, I usually like to get fried sushi too. The stuff that's probably the most health, unhealthy on the whole menu is what I typically like to eat. I like these little eggs too, Ikura. I actually used to give these to my kids when they were babies. I'd put them on their, at their baby chair, I'd put the Ikura eggs on their tray 
to teach them manual dexterity, how to use their hands. And they also have omega threes in them, so they're healthy. There's healthy fats in them. So, just one of the little things I used to do for my kids when they were little babies, I used to feed them these little Iker eggs. All right, my man. Let's see how you look. Got all that sweat out of you. The first, first coat. They just did a coat for you. Okay. The first. I can tell right now. You're tired. I can tell. He's tired already. Four uh, ounce of steak, and that's it. Yeah. You look better already. Yeah. He's got more detail on his legs. Yeah. Look at. Uh, Look at the feathering right here. See those little feathers? That's right. Those weren't in there earlier when he was in there. Well, the, uh, yeah, you're definitely like, you're, you have way more lines in his legs. His legs are more crisp. So, so what we did was we felt like additional carbs were necessary. So Arturo hasn't even had any more carbs since the last update. And look, he's, hard, he's harder, he's sharper, and it's late at night. It's, uh, it's 9.43 at night, and this is one of the things that you you make judgment calls based on where they're at, and the nice thing is, is I'm here and I can actually see him, but, um, you know, you always hear about people carving up, and sometimes you do, but sometimes you don't need to eat a whole bunch. It just it just depends on the person and where they're at. So I think we made a good call. I can see more detail. We'll go through some poses here. Um, the legs definitely look better. Yeah, that tome and yeah, see this, yeah. Okay, quarter turn. Yeah, there you go. I like it though, you're paying attention, I like it. Okay, good. Quarter turn. Definitely more lines in his glutes. See the difference in his glutes? Yeah. Definitely different. Hold that. Mm -hmm. Lower back's tighter. Okay, quarter turn. Look at the feather. Look, see now. Look when he puts tension. Look at the lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See the lines? Yeah, definitely look. Don't try to see it. Come on. There, look. Right there. <laughs> look. See how much better it looks? That wasn't because he's eating more. That's because he's eating less. All right, so that was Arturo. Um... Hopefully that gives you like some idea of what we do as a coach. You know, people come in, they look a certain way, then you make a decision, and most people are carving up. But when we saw Arturo this morning, you guys saw how much he was sweating and he was big and full. So it just didn't make sense to me, looking at him to carb load him. He already looked full. He was sweating. He had plenty of water in him. So we cut his carbs out of his next meal, and all he had was four ounces of steak. And then you saw just in three hours how much better he looked. And that's kind of the science of this. And that's actually the fun part for a coach is figuring out things. So what I wanted to do tonight, I think Arturo's lines can still get a little deeper. So his, he's got one more meal left tonight, and it's just going to be steak. He's not going to have any carbs again. And then tomorrow morning at 6.30, he's going to be here. I'm going to see how he looks in the morning. We're going to figure out his first three meals. Um, but you'll see me again tomorrow morning at the pancake house so anyways um so that's um that's today we missed one guy today casey who's competing he came up and did his check-in uh right before super cameraman nikki showed up but we'll see casey tomorrow we'll see how he's doing he's a new pro as well so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that uh, we're going to pick back up in the morning so we'll see you then it's let me see what time is it Almost 7.30. All right, it's almost 7.30, guys. Show day. Uh, my video guy's not here yet. He's he's driving from a long ways away, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys what Josh looks like. He looks absolutely insane, so we're going to hit a couple of poses. Let's just do uh, let's just do a front, uh, front lat spread. Hit this one. We don't have the best lighting in here, but trust me, nasty. We're a front double. Okay, front lat spread. Focus camera. You're freaking my camera out. You're so hard. Okay, cool right there. Super full. 
I wish you guys the lighting is lightening him up, but he's actually like his skin is like black from his tan. That's one of the things we have to do as competitors is we have to get our skin virtually black where the lights on stage will wash us out. So if you were here with me, you would think that he was from straight from Sudan, Africa. But he's actually a pale face like I am. So that's it. All right, good morning, everyone. I told you we were going to come back to the pancake house. Here we are. So it's Saturday morning. Everybody has checked in. I have Caroline competing in the Junior USA. She checked in. I have Diana competing up in New Hampshire. She's checked in. They checked in by phone, by video. And my three competitors here local at the New York Pro have checked in at the hotel room. I'm going to go get a quick bite to eat here at the Pancake House. We've got to see what kind of pancakes they have. And then we're going to head off to pre-judging and see how everybody looks. And there we go. What are pancakes? I have got to get this just so we can educate everybody on the incredible importance of the pancake to meet your nutritional needs, your dietary needs. Ignoring pancakes is ushering in certain death. So in order for you to live a long, happy, and prosperous life, of my, as my friend Captain Spock would say, you gotta have your pancakes. So sometimes in life, it's not an either or decision. You don't have to go, I'll take A or take B. You take A and B. So what I got was half a order of the coconut pancakes and half of the Hawaiian pancakes with pineapple in it. So remember, life's not always about A or B. Sometimes you do A and B. So. All right, so now we're headed off to the show. We got a couple hours till pre-judging starts. So I'm gonna check in with all my folks and see how they're doing. That was good. So we'll see you back here in a few minutes. Yeah, just over here. Okay, let me see your back. My what? Let me see your back. Okay. Okay, back to the front. Just stand in a relaxed position. Okay. Need some more food. Okay. Yeah. You need to get some more food in there. Um, what food did you bring? Chicken and rice? I like? Chicken and rice. I have two, bar, two protein bars they gave us back there. We have some sodium carbs fat in it. Okay. Did you bring any um, like hot saltines, hot sauce or anything for your chicken? Uh, any salt? Yeah. Okay. Let's and do... Peanut butter too. I want you to have like another... Only like three three ounces of chicken. You don't need a lot of chicken. Okay. Um, but I want you to put some hot sauce on it. Get some sodium in. Yeah, I think you can be a little fuller. The sodium will okay. sodium will pop you right back up. And then have like a cup of rice. Okay. And it's let me see what time it is. I'm a little <clears throat> flat or so. You're a little flat, um, but your legs are separated. Everything is separated. We just gotta we just gotta get you a little fuller. Okay. Um, so it's nine forty eight. Eat now, okay, eat now. And then, um, so last night we had five guys, french fries, but he burned right through that. So let's, get, let's go um, chicken and rice, but I want a lot of hot, I want a lot of salt on the chicken. Okay. And then I, I want to look at you fluid. again, look, eat right now. What about fluid? Take six ounces of water with it. I'll do it right now. Okay, right now, and then in a half hour, I want to look at you again. Okay. Okay. I think it'll be enough time to go out. Oh, yeah. All we got to do is get the nutrients in your body so that when you start pumping up, you'll pump up. That's all. Okay. But it won't work without the, without the sodium in the water. Okay. How, are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, of course. <laughs> Mountain Dog himself. Hi, right. Philip Williams, man. Hi, Phil. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm a huge fan. Your conditioning, your coaching, your knowledge, everything. Thank man. you, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> For real, bro. Can we you. get a picture real quick? Yeah, of course, of course. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Good to yeah. see you, man. How you doing, John? Good to see you, man. What's up, brother? You guys doing all right? Yeah, yeah. Doing all right? Really yeah. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Great. Thanks. Awesome. 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 Good. Awesome. Good. Awesome. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Those are two awesome guys. Those are guys who run Montanary Gym in Connecticut, the powerhouse. Phenomenal guys.
it's a, one of the cool things about traveling. You get to see some great people. And I've been in the industry for a long time, so I know a lot of great people. So it's really cool to be able to catch up with these folks. Dude, up, look at this guy. <laughs> You're even getting taller or I'm getting shorter. I yes, used to I'm be a lot taller, and now we're almost taller. even. I'm definitely not getting taller. All right. <laughs> so it's a good thing I stopped squatting, or if I was, I'd still be too much taller. So, <laughs> That's Sean Clarina taller. here, champion, returning champion. Yeah, just sitting in the back to shoot as well. Who's got, who's got the better facial hair? This is garbage. We're Honestly, we both out. look really crazy. It doesn't look well groomed at all. <laughs> not at all. I, I wanted to get it done, I just couldn't have time. <laughs> I feel you. Actually, I, I've got a. Uh, I'm just lazy. So, we're going to go back in the. Man, those things always tired me out. Like I gotta crack I know, or something. I try, but just like, you know, I, can't I do have to cardio in my bathroom for like 10 minutes. I'm just like, it's hard, isn't it? Yeah. Especially like if like something that's still fat, technically. <laughs> it's really hard when you're fat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yeah. Look how wound up and excited he is. <laughs> that's He's his like, gift. Actually, yeah, this is him wound up. Yeah, yeah. super. Right? Super. He's super hyper right now. Can you imagine you when he's calm? He actually is asleep while being awake when he's calm. That's how relaxed he is. It's an it's an art to the science. Yeah. More, more art than science. <laughs> how you been? Good. How you doing? Good to see you. I know I'm getting short. For a fact. <laughs> how you been, man? Good. Good. Same old, same old. Yeah. You're local. Well, no, actually, no. But I'm also, but I've got you, uh, I used to work just 10 minutes ago. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, My man! What's going on? How are you, how are you doing, brother? Yeah, how are you? Hi, man, how are you? Do you remember yeah, this yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, watch a lot of your videos on the FPS. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's awesome. He was just talking about coming, moving here. Okay. So, you know, he has a family. So we're talking about California. It's like, ooh. Like when you have a family, yeah. just a little house. Oh yeah. Oh, you're talking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's Cracker box. Paul shoots so much. Like, we just had uh, some chicken, some salt. Okay. Let me see your back. Okay. More food. Okay. Yeah, we need some more food. He's he's a little fuller. You can see things popping, but it's not where it needs to be. We need some more food. Another cup of rice. Some more some more hot sauce. Okay. Um, you don't need the meat now. Okay. Okay. But you got rice with you. Yeah. Another cup of rice and more hot sauce and another six ounces of water. Okay. Okay. So. Wow. Okay. It's coming. You look better, but just we need more. Do I, is, more. is there a difference from before? Yes. Okay. There's definitely a difference. Like this right here is it's coming back to life. Okay. But we need more though. Okay. You should get a really good pump backstage too, because now you've got fluid in. Now keep in mind guys, this is he had five guys last night. He had two cheeseburgers and two cheeseburgers. His metabolism is insane right now. So Yeah. Nail a cup of rice, another cup of rice right now with um, hot sauce. If I, if, if I have to pee again, just replace what I just drink. Drink back the fluid. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna get that down right now. Okay. All right. Cool. That was funny. So, I'm in New York. My taxes get done in New York, and his cousin actually does my taxes. That's, that's so funny. Yeah. It's like the coincidence that breeds itself by being in different cultures. That is so funny. Yeah, man. Oh, you're right? You're going to have to kill yourself to make weight. Yeah, exactly. I say, you know, if I have to kill myself to make weight, it looks good. Hey, I'm going to out anyway. I might as well. Don't stress out and just have fun. I'm done. Yeah, yeah. So I did the same thing. 146 to 155, still, please. I'm already sitting in the sauna. Yeah, exactly. exactly. 257 and 157, switch, please. And, you know, this prep is like so smooth and stressless, and, you know, and this my mind and my body are like at peace. So. Where are you living now? I'm living in uh, Trinidad now. Okay, all right. Yeah. Good way you've been here. Yeah. Quarter turn to the right. Yeah, man. It's good to see you. Yeah, man. Good to see good you. Good to see you too, man. Always. Right. Always. Take it easy. Yeah, man. Take care, man. Yeah, it's good to see you, brother. Hey, hey, my man. How yeah. you doing? Wow, good, man. brother. How's everything? You, um, 
deployed to do anything, or you're just chilling out here? I'm chilling out here. Um, I uh, I came from active duty. I went to the guard, okay. so I'm back up in New York, okay. training at Bev's. Right. You know, on the right US. So. Right, you're doing it. Okay. Yeah. Learn. I'm wondering if you were any, any uh, all this stuff that going on in Sri Lanka and these other countries. I was wondering if you were. Oh, okay, I got you. I'm stateside for now, but uh, I'm transferring to, to a counterterrorism unit. So that's all the military guys up in like Penn Station, Bridges Tunnels. Yeah, so it's it's pretty badass, you know. Yeah, John, this is my boy Ben. It was a uh, military with him, you know. Yeah, so uh, one of my good friends. Like one uh, universe last year, you know. Everything else got his pro card. He comes here, he's like, dude, he's like, I'm fourth cool out at the New York Pro. I know, I know he's new, you know. It's tough, man. Yeah, it's tough. I'm like. I'm glad I sat this out. <laughs> <laughs> it's great seeing you as always. All right. Right. Hey, nice to meet you. Right, man, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I like that post you put up. That's a death. That's a crazy face. Which one? When you about oh, the show about the Arnold. Oh, the Arnold picture. Yeah, that yeah, was. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. But dude, that was condition. That was. Yeah, I'll I mean, if you showed up at this show today, <laughs> besides Korea, that would have been lights out. Yeah. You know, you could tell that. Wait that a minute. I don't even remember. Wait a minute. Was he in the 212s? I don't know if he was that year. I'm just saying. No, no. Was Kurt? Did the Eduardo compete today? Yeah. yeah, he was. Yeah. yeah How did I miss him? What was he in the two twelve? Yeah. Yeah. Right was, there. Did he end up window. in the middle? Yeah. yeah. At the end. Yep. Yep. Okay. Just so he was only outside. They pushed and then him. They pushed him. The last push. You know shot. what? I, okay. I I didn't know who it was. I couldn't from where I was standing. I couldn't tell it was him. But I was sitting there. I was like, this guy doesn't have the best shape. But yeah, sure. And I didn't know who he was. And then he kept posing. I was like, oh shit. Then he hit his back push. I was like, oh, this dude's pretty good. And then he turned the side. Yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, I don't know who that guy But it was, it was him all along. Yeah. He's got 90s conditioning. Yeah. See this conditioning? Yeah, yeah. In 90s. Like, you had 90s. You had Yates, body. though. You had Yates, like, yeah, condition. Yeah. Like, it wasn't even yeah. funny. Yeah. Right, Always good rapping with you, Always too, man. Always a pleasure to see you. Take care, man. Yeah, man. Take care. You're good, We're gentlemen. hopeless lifers, man. <laughs> the Titanic will go. I think it's still alive, though. It's still alive. It's still going. There's a few of us with the little road. The road. I know. Have a good one, man. <laughs> see ya. All right, so the New York Pro has wrapped up. I'm headed back home. I'm at the airport. I appreciate you guys following along. I hope you saw the kind of the different approaches that we used with Arturo. We took his carbs out, didn't let him drink anything. The next day was really dry. He did great. Josh, we kept on the same plan. We thought he looked right on the money. Um, and Casey, I thought, looked a little flat, so we loaded him full of food, and he filled out fantastic for prejudging. Josh will be in California next week. Casey will be in Toronto in two weeks, and Arturo will be in Puerto Rico next week. So this is just the beginning of the contest season for these guys. So now I take what we've learned, and we try to get even better the next time. The process is never over. You're always trying to get better. But uh, anyways, thanks for joining us on our journey. And we'll see you next time.